Okay, now that we've created our first service, let's go and make use of it. And what we'll do is we'll head back to our nav component file. And in the constructor, what we're going to do is inject our service inside this component. So we'll say private account service and call it, or we'll call it account service and we'll bring in account service. And we should find that we get this automatically imported. If you run into trouble, by the way, with any of the auto import functionality with Visual Studio Code, then your first troubleshooting step is to, I'm sorry about this, but it really is to restart Visual Studio Code. That does resolve 99% of the problems. As Visual Studio Code has been improved over the years, I found it a lot more reliable than it used to be, especially when it comes to things like this. So hopefully you don't need to do that too many times. Anyway, what we're doing now is we're going to use our account service to actually log in our user. So what we do in our login method, we say list.account service and we'll say login and then we pass in the model, in this case list.model. Now our login method is returning to us an observable. We didn't give it a type so it's returning an observable of object. This may cause us a slight issue, but let's see how we get on. So an observable is lazy. It doesn't do anything until we subscribe to the observable. So we have to subscribe and then we're going to get a response back from our server. Now we know that in our, the response from our server, when we log in, we're going to get that user DTO returned to us. So what we'll do just to see what happens is we'll just console.log the response. And what we'll also do, this is temporary, don't worry about this, this is not going to be how we remain for the long term, but we're going to add a property up here and say logged in, and we're going to say that this is a type of boolean. And what we'll do after we've logged in, we'll just say list logged in equals true. And what we'll also do, because we haven't done any proper error handling yet, we'll get the error if there is one and we'll just console.log the error. Now what we should be able to do is go back to our nav component and we can attempt to log in with an actual user. Now I've only got one user that you can see here which is Bob and Bob username is Bob and we've given Bob a password. If you used a different one from me then please obviously make sure you've got the correct password and if I press enter and we can see that we get the username and token sent back to our console. So it worked. What we should also have found is the, the property, although we can't see it from where we are, the logged in property inside our component would have been set to true. And this will give us an opportunity to look at conditionally displaying things inside our user interface. And that's what we'll take a look at next. But before we do, by the way, let's make sure we see something when I don't add the correct password and what we get is the 401 unauthorized back from our server. And that's what we want to see here, by the way. If we take a look inside the error response, then we can see the error is invalid password. If we have a bad username, then what we'll see is we'll get a different error response and this time it's going to say invalid username. We check to see if the username's valid before we check to see if the password is acceptable. So we'll just get the invalid username response here. So that's good. This is what we're looking for just now. So let's take a look next at conditionals.